I'm back. So in the early days of this channel, we did a tiki tour series where we visited various cities along the west coast and tried to recreate some cocktails from some of our favorite tiki bars in those cities, such as Seattle, Portland, Oakland, Los Angeles, and one of the most densely packed cities for high-end tiki bars, San Francisco. Well, earlier this year, we thought it was time to make another expedition to the Golden Gate City to visit some new tiki bars and revisit some old ones with some new recipes. And stick around, because just like before, we're going to decrypt one of the recipes of the more modern cocktails so you can experience at home with No Problemo. So our first stop was probably one of the best new bars we've seen in a long time, Last Rites. The interior is half a fuselage of a downed plane with tree canopy above and mysterious giant skulls in the depths of the jungle. The cocktails were really awesome. Trust me. Unfortunately, with most of these cocktails being house originals, we've been unable to decode any of them with any accuracy yet. Next was another one I hadn't visited yet, Zombie Village. This interior was gigantic. In the Tenderloin District of San Francisco, amazing light projections fill the walls, an impressive massive bar centerpiece, and even a hidden away area where we were able to find shelter from the villagers. Well, the drinks have arrived. This is one of those, you know, limit two per customer, ridiculous drinks. This one's a little more mellow, but they're both very unique and very delicious. And then out there is the bar known as Zombie Village. Yeah. <laughs> this place also had original cocktails that, sadly, we've been unable to crack just yet. Our last stop of the night was a return to a place that was still in its soft opening last time I was there, Pagan Idol. Here we are now in 2022, and man oh man, not only is it the same, but it might even be better. Wonderful bar, take a look. Now despite their menu being original riffs on old classic recipes, some of these recipes are actually available online. Yes! But since we're only doing one recipe this week, that'll have to wait for another time. What? Then it was time for rest. Day two was upon us, and we did a bunch of stuff during the day, but kicking off the second night of the tour was one of the ultimate classic tiki locations in the entire world. In the lexicon of famous tiki temples, few compare to the legend that is Tonga Room in the San Francisco Fairmont. And here we are. Since my previous visit in 2016, their menu has been expanded from just four classic cocktail recipes to a much wider selection with more modern twists. So we made sure to explore that area of the menu before moving on to ultimately our final destination, Smuggler's Cove. Here we are, the one and only Ground Zero, Smuggler's Cove, San Francisco. Awesome, we're actually here. We're here to have a fantastic rum-tastic time. Another bar that I had been to back in the 2016 tour, but was excited to return with a much more refined rum palette. After having some fancy sipping rum, it was fun to explore some of the more house-specific recipes, which brings us finally to our featured cocktail of today's episode, the aptly named Expedition. As mentioned, this is an original recipe by Smuggler's co-founder Martin Kate, which contains lime, seltzer, honey syrup, vanilla syrup, cinnamon syrup, and then coffee liqueur, bourbon, and black blended rum. This is a wide range of flavors and aromas that I imagine should give us a uniquely complex final result. Martin Kate created this recipe as a tribute to the journey of Don the Beachcomber, with each ingredient signifying a major moment in his life and career. So listen to me very carefully. We'll start with the one ounce of bourbon, which is in reference to Don's roots in New Orleans. In this case, we're using Angel's Envy. This is a spicier bourbon, so I imagine it'll give a little bit of a kick to the flavor. Now, as Don's travels took him to the Caribbean, we'll now add the rum and the spices. So we'll start with the two ounces of black blended rum. In this case, we're using Gosling's. A half ounce of cinnamon syrup and a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup. 
Now as Don migrates to Southern California and starts setting up his famous business, this is where the citrus and honey comes into play. So now we'll do one ounce of lime juice and a half ounce of honey syrup. Journey's looking pretty good so far. Now the last ingredient before we shake is a coffee liqueur. Now the original recipe calls for a New Orleans coffee liqueur to bring it full circle back to where Don began his journey. But in this case, we're just gonna use Mr. Black with a quarter ounce. All right, now since we don't have a flash blender, we're actually gonna add all the ingredients in now and shake it with some crushed ice and then add the seltzer water later so we can avoid a soda explosion. <laughs> All right, let's shake for about 15 seconds or so. Also, just sounds cool. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna stir in about two ounces of seltzer water on top here. Let's get our mug. And let's just pour it in. We'll add a little bit more crushed ice on top. Now normally you would garnish this with some edible flowers, a dehydrated lime wheel, and some mint, uh, but we're gonna forego that and at least try to keep it real with a Smuggler's Cove swizzle stick. We'll stick straw in, and there we go. Expedition. Let's see how this baby turned out. Wow. That's really crazy. The coffee flavor really comes through, but I bet that that's supported by the cinnamon and the vanilla syrup in there as well. Let's go in one more time. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's got a bit of an ashy coffee flavor in there, but not too sour. It's actually not too sweet either. It's actually really well-rounded, which is about what I would expect from a Martin Kate cocktail. It's actually so well balanced that it's easy to forget that there's three ounces of booze in here with two different spirit bases. So don't have too many of these or else your head will be terminated. So thanks for joining us on this 2022 version of the San Francisco Tiki Tour. If you missed it, go back and check out our previous Tiki Tour from 2016 where we do nearly the entire West Coast. And if you like this episode, please give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future cocktail recipes and tiki adventures. Until then, hasta la vista, baby.